Welcome everybody to today's webinar, our joint online seminar of EAD Information Center Taipei. And of course, our presenter today, Ms. Solombrino from Pforzheim University. Hello to Germany. Uh, Ms. Solombrino is the coordinator for the MBA International Management Program of Pforzheim University. And she's going to introduce us to her special MBA program, and of course also to Pforzheim, which is a very, very beautiful, but smaller city in Germany. Uh, and we are looking forward to learn about the university. Mr. Goldberger, for introducing me and welcome to our MBA presentation today. Thanks for joining us. Um, I want to give you some information on Pforzheim University and our MBA in International Management. First of all, you would like to know, I'm quite sure, where is Pforzheim located? Um, it is located in the state of uh, Baden-Württemberg, which is one of the federal states here in Pforzheim, uh, in Germany, of course. Um, it is located in the southwest of Germany, and um, we are close by to the French border, and also if you want to take day trips to Switzerland, Austria, those countries are also close by. So it's a nice place to be if you're interested to travel as well. To give you an idea of the city of Pforzheim, I brought along a couple of pictures. You see we are right at the gate to the Black Forest area, so you can go on hiking tours. In winter time, we do snowboarding and skiing in our region. But we do have a very interesting um, city centre as well, with a couple of old buildings, but also quite new buildings. We are situated um, along three rivers, um, which make it very nice to um, spend time outside, especially in summertime, at little coffee shops in the city. Now, having a closer look at Pforzheim and um, the surroundings, you might find that Pforzheim is in a, uh, situated in an economically very strong region. You see, we are right between Baden-Baden, Karlsruhe, Mannheim and Stuttgart. And uh, this region here does have a very low unemployment rate. Big players, very well-known companies such as SAP, Siemens or Bosch are here in our region and also some of the um, most important companies if it comes to automotive industry are also situated here, Daimler for example or Porsche um, right next to Stuttgart. But in addition to those big players, how we like to call them, there are also lots of mid-sized companies in our region. They are the hidden champions and most of them are leaders in the respective industry. Um, they form the um, strong backbone of the German economy and many of those um, companies are traditional family businesses. Having a look at Pforzheim University, our um, university consists of three different schools. Uh, for once, it is the School of Design, and then the School of Engineering, and the Business School, of course, which the MBA in International Management is part of. The School of Design was founded in 1877 already, and the Business School in 1971. Our business school has about 3,500 students taught by 97 professors and we do have more than 100 partner universities worldwide um, and this leads us to having more than 900 international students coming from more than 70 countries every semester. 
Now, the business school Pforzheim has in total more than 17,000 graduates. It offers 14 bachelor programs and 12 master programs, of which one is our MBA International Management Program, which is taught entirely in English. And then we do have another MBA program, which is an executive MBA program, which is taught in German. Here you have a very nice uh, picture of our um, university library um, and also the library and some of the main buildings on the lower picture. In 2011, Pforzheim University was the first university that um, got AACSB accredited and it was re-accredited in 2017. Now, on the next slides, we will have a closer look on our program. Um, we do have two different um, programs. The one is the four-semester track, the other one the three-semester track. The four-semester track will be 21 months of full-time ABA program. This is for all applicants from all different backgrounds. Um, and then there is the 16-month short track um, MBA studies, which is for those people who do have a business background already. Um, the course language, as I mentioned, is English. Um, and our education is based on two pillars, one being the general management education, and the other one, the specialization in innovation management, sustainable globalization and digital transformation. In the second and in the third semester, our students are able to take electives. They are offered in different fields such as consulting, marketing and finance and accounting. We do praise ourselves for having small class sizes, which to our opinion is very important for the students' development. Um, our class size has a maximum of 25 students only, which uh, allows our professors to concentrate on the individual students. So um, this very low faculty student ratio is something very special about our program. Within our program, we do have integrated German classes because especially for those of you who want to stay in Germany after their graduation and work here, it is quite important to be able to speak German. So those classes are on all levels. There will be placement tests. Some of our students do have German language skills already. Others um, don't have any uh, language skills at all, but that isn't the problem as they are able to learn during their studies um, of the MBA classes. All our professors are practically experienced. As Mr. Goldberger already mentioned, we are a University of Applied Sciences. So our professors uh, have at least worked for five years in the industry in senior management positions or CEO positions before they were able to start teaching here at Pforzheim University. Um, also, we do have guest professors coming from different countries onto our campus and adding up to our um, associated professors here at our own university. The tuition fee per semester is 3,950 euros, um, starting from winter semester 2021. Um, being a public university gives us a chance to put most of the money that we make back into the program. We actually only have to cover our costs and we don't have to uh, make big profit and this helps us to keep our tuition fees at a um, reasonable, reasonable cost. Having a closer look at the semester structure, um, you might see that we have two intakes. First intake would be every year in October, so our next semester, our winter semester is starting soon. 
And this first semester is meant for all people from all different backgrounds. It is more or less the foundations in the different fields that are taught in this first semester. The second semester can then be joined from all uh, people that do have a business um, background already. It's the so-called short track. And in the second semester, we um, teach advanced business topics and specializations. And they are added up by a couple of different electives in management skills. The third semester then uh, allows an individual concentration and for those who want also a study abroad semester. Now the electives comprise a variety um, of elective courses which focus on specific fields such as marketing, consulting, finance and accounting um, and a company project, which is a, a project that lasts over the whole semester. It is a real uh, life project that our students in small groups work on together with um, a company that um, works together with Potsdam University. In the third semester, there's also a chance to um, spend a semester abroad at one of our partner universities, which is also a great chance um, coming from abroad to be able not only to see how things are taught in Germany, but also in other countries. The fourth semester then is the semester in which you would write your thesis. In Germany, the MBA program finishes with a thesis. And you can write this thesis either individually and independently um, on your own topic, or you can write it together with the company, which can also be a great chance um, to get a, a foot into the door of one of the German companies and you might land a job afterwards with them. Through all three semesters, we do offer the company experience, which is a mixture from guest in classroom uh, lectures and excursions. So you might ask, what is so special about the MBA program in Pforzheim? Well, for once, we do have an intense cooperation with many companies in our region. Um, we do company visits to Puma, Daimler, Trumpf, Microsoft or Accenture. Um, we go on two, three day excursions with our students. We are invited um, to learn more about the different companies. Um, and also our students always have a chance to network with people from those companies. Then we do have guests in classroom. They also come from different industries. Those people are mostly managers, CEOs, or senior executives that tell our students about the um, respective companies. And also here, very important thing is the networking chances, meeting people from HR at, this diff uh, at those um, different companies. That will give our students a chance for later on after the graduation, and it makes it much easier to find a job afterwards. Then another very important thing about our program is the cross-cultural experience. Um, in our classroom, we have students from all over the world. Mostly it's between five and 10 different nationalities that are in one class. Um, and they work together on different projects, class projects, so they learn to interact with people coming from different countries. Then we do have guest professors every semester. They come from the US, from South Africa, or from the UK. And as I mentioned before, we also offer the chance of doing an exchange semester um, at one of our partner universities and with two universities, the Ischgede in Lisbon in Portugal and the University of Wyoming in the United States, we even offer a double degree um, program, which means that you can have a degree both from that university and our own full-time university at the end of your study. 
Having a look at the MBA admissions and application process, um, we do have an application platform which uh, makes it quite easy to apply for our program. The admission requirements are an undergraduate degree. This can be from all different fields. You don't have to have a business degree. You can be an engineer, a doctor, um, whatever, a teacher, um, a lawyer, and you might decide to uh, brush up your career to go a step further, and then um, you can apply for our MBA program. Uh, we are asking for a GMAT or a GRE test um, and a TOEFL test, which proves your proficiency in English language. Um, another thing that we ask our students to have is a two years of full-time work experience after the first university degree. This is um, for your own good because you better benefit of the classes and the projects but you can relate to your previous um, work experience. Then we also want a motivation letter um, telling us why you want to study with us and an essay on extracurricular activities. Um, added up to that will be an interview that we will do via Skype with you. Um, and like that, we will be able to see um, who are you, and you will be able to ask your questions as well. The application deadlines for the winter semester are for people from outside of the EU, uh, the 15th of June, and for EU residents or those people who are already holding um, a visa for Germany, it is July the 31st. Then for those people with a business background, they can apply until mid-December um, if they still need a visa for Germany and all the others that don't require to have a, a EU visa, they can apply until the 31st of January. I did bring along a couple of testimonials people that studied with us in our MBA program, some of our alumni, Kerstin, for example, she enjoyed um, the program's quality and the internationality of our program. It was great for her to work together with uh, people from all different backgrounds and all over the world. Also, Yan Hong from China, she enjoyed working with colleagues from different countries and uh, she learned creative thinking and um, the studies enhanced her problem solving skills. Gabriela from Mexico, she went um, for a semester abroad in France. Um, we have very remarkable uh, partner universities. So she did not only learn how it is to study in Germany, but also how it is to study in France at the same time. Brian, he's from the US, and he enjoyed um, being taught by professors with an outstanding academic background. Um, and Alexandra from Russia, for her, it was a great chance to work um, or to start working in Germany or somewhere in Europe after studying in the MBA. So this is kind of a, your first step into a new career that you can start in Europe after your study from Ghana. Uh, he enjoyed the small class sizes and the attention, the attention that was given to him from our professors. He learned how to utilize his strengths and how to use them as, um, ex uh, effectively in his day-to-day -day, um, working life. Student life in Pforzheim, housing and expenses. This is also a very important thing for our students. Uh, before your arrival, you will receive a housing list. Um, there is a couple of dorms mentioned on there, but you can also um, uh, rent an apartment, a furnished apartment, the dormitories, and also the apartments. The rooms in a shared apartment cost around 220 euros per month. Uh, and the living costs are at about 650 euros per month. 
Uh, your student ID comprises a ticket for public transport that is included already. Um, and you can integrate into our studies by either doing a pre-semester German course, if you don't have any German skills or want to brush up your German skills before the classes start, then uh, during the arrival week, there is different uh, things uh, offered by our student clubs, Gemini, for example, that take our students out uh, so that they learn more about our city and what Pforzheim has to offer. Then uh, within the MBA program, we do have a buddy program, which means that you will have a buddy, one of the other students that is has been here in Pforzheim already for quite some time, and they will help you in the first couple of weeks um, and even in the days before you arrive in Pforzheim to find your way through the city and through your studies here. There's different initiatives at the university and sports opportunities offered as well. To find a job after your graduation is also well taken care for by, for once, preparatory classes on how to apply for a job in Germany. That might be different in different countries, so we, might, we want to make sure that you get all the knowledge needed to apply for a job in Germany. Then we do offer mock interviews. Um, companies are coming onto campus and they teach our students how to prepare for an interview, a real life job interview. Then we have a meet master fair when um, companies come onto um, campus and do have interviews with our students and information, um, different information talks. Career breakfasts are quite similar thing. So these are all chances for our students to network with maybe their future employers. There's job posts on campus. Um, many of our students do have working student jobs during their studies. Um, and that might also be a good chance to get in contact with different companies in Germany. The mentoring program is something that we launched last year. Um, we do match one of our alumni with one of our current students there in this program. Um, and our alumni support our students during their studies, during um, the time when they write their theses, and of course, during the application process for jobs after the studies. To end up with my presentation, I would like to um, show you the members of our MBA team. We have Professor Harald Strothmann here. He's the program director responsible for the whole MBA international management program. And he's also teaching economics, for example. Then we do have Professor Markus Oliver Schwab. He is our company contact. He is um, responsible for excursions and he's also teaching HR in our program. If you would like to go and study abroad, Jochen Ebert would be your contact person. Then we have Janina Walter, who for most people, for most applicants, is the first person to get in contact with when you're applying um, for our program because she's um, the coordinator of admissions and applications. Then we have two other team members, which are Heide Kleko and Sabrina Mitrasch. The two of them are arranging all classes, our schedules, so their work is also very important for us that our program can run smoothly. And then today I have the pleasure to meet you. You uh, met me. My name again is Tanya and I'm the program coordinator. Thank you all for joining the presentation. I will be happy to answer your questions now. So please write down your questions and uh, I will try to answer all. Our attendees still need Thank some you. time to key in their questions. Now you have the opportunity to uh, directly ask your questions uh, concerning the MBA program of Pforzheim University. Uh, but I would like to start out to ask a question I was thinking about. Um, could you maybe elaborate a little bit? You seem to be a small program, but actually extremely international program. Um, 
and you seem to have quite a few students also from Asia. Where do your students come from and what is their major motivation to take your MBA program? What do they get from it? Mm. Um, so internationality is a really very important thing for us. Um, so I would say 95, 96% of our students, MBA students, are coming from abroad. Um, we do have students from Asia, we do have students from China, um, from Malaysia as well. They come from um, Shanghai, Hong Kong. Um, most of them, some of them have been learning German before. They have been teachers, for example, and uh, they are looking for an opportunity to start a new career in Germany. Now, um, Pforzheim University, as you mentioned, our program is a quite small program, but uh, that gives them the possibility to start in a, I would say, quite attractive area in a smaller town. Um, and it makes it easy to start a career in Germany. So for them, most of Maybe them our um, are, not are aware, planning but to time, stay it's a in small Germany place, after their graduation. Uh, it's a city in an economically um, and very a potent career. region, Germany. So there's many different companies, also bigger international companies in the region. So actually it's a very, very good place to start out a career and to get in contact with these quite important German companies. And also, of course, it is a very beautiful place to study and live in. Okay, I see that there's the first questions from our attendees. Uh, there's a question concerning uh, internships. Uh, and the student is asking, is there any specific cooperation programs for internships? Or do you have to find the internship program yourself? So will it be arranged by the university? Is there, is there special collaborations? Or are students really on themselves in organizing their internship. We don't require mandatory internships, but uh, there's many of our students that do internships either during um, the semester break and as I mentioned before, many students um, write their thesis with um, together with the company. So that means that for the six months, four to six months that they um, write on their thesis, they work at a certain German um, company. Um, we have many contacts and during the program here with us, our students get in contact with many different companies, with alumni. So if they tell us, I would like um, to do an internship in a certain field or area, we also um, contact our alumni. We um, make contact between the student and alumni, and they might support them. Um, uh, another to find place is, for the uh, internship. is curious about uh, more statistical questions. Uh, he would like to know how many of uh, your alumni are actually deciding to work in Germany after graduation. Uh, do you have any statistics on, them, on this question? I would say if I think back the last 10 years, 95% um, of our alumni stayed in Germany or in Europe and are working there um, today. Most of them, I would uh, say, Maybe in I also Germany. would like to add, um, maybe not all of the attendees are aware of that, but Germany has a relatively open policy and an open labor market towards uh, international students who graduate in Germany. So if you obtain a degree at a German university, you basically you get a working permit. Uh, the exact law works like this. You have 18 months time to find a employer in Germany. And of course, after finding an employer, uh, you can uh, get a working uh, visa through, uh, through your company. So it is relatively easy after obtain, obtaining a degree to continue working in Germany. And actually one of the intentions uh, of attracting international students to Germany is 
to actually keep uh, these international talents in Germany because our German companies need these talents. Uh, Germany is a very potent, powerful economical force, but only because we have the support by international ta talents. So this is one of the thoughts behind our strategies of internationalization. I don't know if you would agree with that. Mm. Yes, definitely. And a nice thing also to mention is uh, you said our students or our graduates would have 18 months after graduation to find a job. Most of them, or if I think back last year's class, um, they all have found jobs within the first couple of months after graduation. So not even half a year after graduation, they had all they've all been employed in companies in Germany. So um, those are great statistics. Um, and this is um, also um, very important for us. Um, and many of our students, they start working already. Um, but they do have working student jobs, so that also gives them a chance to put into practice what they learn during their studies, get in contact with German companies, and know how things work in Germany. So by the end of their studies, those um, students are completely aware of the German um, labor market. Well, another and how has work. a quite specific question. Um, the person is asking, uh, after application, how long do they have to wait until they get the result if they are going, if they successfully applied for the program? And do they also need to take part in an interview uh, during the application process? Mm -hmm. So the process works in a way that uh, the students upload their documents. Um, we start a first document check just to see is everything completed, are all uh, required documents there. Um, then our international programs office, they will check the transcripts um, and the certificates that need to be sent in. And in the same time, we already get in contact with um, the applicants. Um, if there's any more documents needed, we will let them know. Um, as I mentioned, the GMAT or GRE are one of the requirements for our, um, for our MBA program. So you don't have to have it right away when you apply. It's also possible to do it during the application process. But it would be good for us to know when you are planning or when the students are planning to do the GMAT. And during that time already, we can arrange um, for interviews. The interview is part of um, the application process. Thank you very much for giving us the insight to the MBA studies at Pforzheim University. Uh, I'm sure many of the attendees probably didn't even know that a city like Pforzheim exists. Certainly, it is worthwhile a visit. And even more so, of course, it's worthwhile to uh, upgrade your career by taking the program at uh, Pforzheim University. I hope that you got the information you wanted to get. Of course, afterwards, there's still further opportunities to contact DAD, to co contact Ms. Solombrino. Um, welcome to Germany. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Solombrino, uh, on behalf of the DAD, on behalf of our attendees, for uh, giving us this talk today. And yeah, hopefully we'll have you again next year for another.